hi guys today i will be showing you how you can restore a low res uh, vector to high res in photoshop um, i want to show you some examples so this is the low quality and this is the restored one and you can see this uh, this image is about 255 pixels 255 into 250 and the restored one is about 2k it is 2000 48 and I think it's came out pretty good so and I have some another one example also so this is the uh, 355 pixels into 330 pixels and the restored one is also about 2k so as you see it's came out pretty good and I like the way it's came out so so let's start now uh, and I want to show you something first that uh, it, this technique is only work with uh, which image have two colors not then more of two uh, you can use this in many things like tattoos and logos something like that so it's really helpful but it's uh, will not work properly if your image have uh, much colors uh, more than two colors so let's see okay so this is our 2k uh, low res not 2k low res 255 pixels image so uh, if you want to make bigger resolution you have to give the document that much resolution first otherwise you are unable to get the result what you want like like if I'm going to take this hard brush and just want to paint on this like this you see the, it still have this jaggy messy uh, looking edges because this document doesn't have that much pixels so you need to increase the canvas size first okay so uh, you need to add here how much resolution you want uh, I want about 2k is working for me so and make sure that this chain button is clicked on uh, it will maintain your expect ratio so that the image will scale gradually on the um, every angle okay and um, sometimes you have to check with these uh, resampling options uh, most of uh, of sampling it will work with automatic it will fine with that but sometimes if you have um, pretty damaged image then you can also check with uh, these options uh, I found this this will work if you have uh, totally damaged uh, image then this can we help you you can check with once again and otherwise most of things gonna fix with automatic okay I will stay with automatic so okay so as I see uh, let me undo my this old image so that I could show you the difference okay so this is my uh, low res image and this is the current and as you see the current image have lost too many datas from here here and it's some blur so what you can do um, let's add a blur to this uh, let's go to filter and blur and blur sorry not blur Gaussian blur blur and Gaussian blur okay so I found that 3 to 4 pixels on 2k resolution will work fine but you have to check by your document also like every image is different right so uh, you can adjust it little bit what you looking for here uh, 
yeah you see this uh, jagginess this is curve this curve and it come have a bulge over here and bulge over here and you, you need to have it a smooth line and uh, nothing else okay so I will having it three yeah so it will have its, uh, most of a straight line that we are looking for okay so you can also turn off turn on it you can check it how it looks or not okay so okay so now if you look closely then uh, I have a black color over here white color over here and a gradation between this okay so uh, if I can push this white color into this black so let me show you once if I can push this white color into this direction and push this black into this direction okay that will make my uh, edge much sharper right so how I am I can do that uh, let's go to this uh, icon over here and add a curve on this and what curve does is uh, it's adding it's brightening up the white color and is darkening the uh, uh, black color so um, you can do uh, this this pick and this pick okay you have to move it uh, inside to the your center of, of this edge okay so as you see I am spreading the black towards the edge and now I am spreading the white towards the edge so in this way my edge will got sharper okay so yeah so as you see it's came out pretty cool and I know it has some errors but uh, the low quality image doesn't have that much information on this like this is not even black it's already turned gray okay so I'm not saying that you will restore 100% of information from that but uh, you can get most of it and I think that helps uh, if you need uh, if you are this detail I don't think my for me this detail is necessary and if for you it's necessary then you can really just um, paint this over like it will really going to be easy yeah something like that is, will be fine and for this curve it's actually get uh, too much of sharpness but you can paint before adding the curve okay I think it's pretty good but um, and it's really um, 8 to 9 times bigger than my low quality image so this result is fine I guess uh, this is 255 and this is 2k so it's did a pretty good job I guess so what you think let me know in the comment box and please subscribe to my channel and I, I make videos on 3d uh, making 3d cards and tips and tricks and if you have any better idea for this also you I love to want to hear it from you and yeah subscribe to my channel and if you like it then like this video see you next time bye bye